And so for draft three, I had these dowels angled into each other like this to make sure I got the whole area. Now that I know where I need, what I'll do is set the dowels this far apart and get an entire sheet. Problem on the last one was once the rolling pin was in the middle, it only had one side for support, so there was no way to get an even sheet. Now this way the rolling pin will have an entire surface to go across. I want more than I need. Who doesn't? But not too much because uh, otherwise it's just a pain. This is the wall that I've been using to create the sidewalls for these drafts. I realized on this last one, draft two, that I was getting too thick a result. And that's when a YouTube subscriber suggested this idea. And thank you to whoever you are if you see this video again. So with this piece here, and then another piece here, that's essentially this entire sheet, which is definitely a goodly amount. Let's get a ruler on this distance. Seven and a quarter on the insides. So I've measured out the slab I need and right now based on my experience with draft uh, 3 I know the entire surface has to be level because any slight variations seem to be enough to yield very drastic results. So nice and smooth the entire way. The amount that I need in this case is a slab seven and a quarter inch by about eleven just wide enough. So the one previous time that I had used this in a test, some of the avas had gotten stuck to it in small patches. I'm thinking that was because it was a dirty surface, so what I'm going to do is wash this first to make sure that it's really clean of everything apparent at the very least. But otherwise, even when it got on there, it was just a matter of brushing it off, but still ripping up the surface that you're working on, that was tough. I just went over to the uh, postal scale, 115 grams. So you're probably asking, why am I rolling this out now? Well, that's quite simple. I'm thinking this is going to be a little easier on the hands, doing it this way. <laughs> Apologies to all you who are offended by the sight of raw meat. <laughs> this Red Ava's epoxy certainly does have to uh, have a bit of that look to it. I'm wondering if this was easier yesterday because I was using water. Or I am using water now.
uh, the previous test I had done. was dry and it's stuck here and there. It wasn't as much of a mess as this is. With only half an hour of working time I don't know if I'll be able to shape this into the slab I need. I'm okay with the notion that I got to do a little sanding on this to get it done right. So let's pull out this guy and a razor blade. So what I'm pretty much realizing is that I can't remove or change or otherwise alter this shape right here because right now they're essentially perfect and I want them to stay that way too so there we go a few pieces of uh, extra walls just in case may as well do them now Now they're going to have to sit for probably a few hours at this point. Then I can tr safely move them. I have to attend to the rolling pin here before this gets bad. And also, get this excess onto Godzilla ASAP. So I'm hoping that by having the plastic on here, that's going to delay the work time on the uh, excess so I can get that onto Godzilla. I do have two rips in these gloves, but I am giving them a bit of work out here, clearly. I'll shape those a little better once I get all of this onto Godzilla and that is definitely a lot. <laughs> 